Have you ever wondered where the deadliest pandemic in human history originated? The Spanish flu, an influenza pandemic that ravaged the globe in the late 19-teens, has left scientists and historians puzzled over its origins for more than a century. This deadly strain of influenza is estimated to have infected one-third of the world's population and caused the deaths of tens of millions of people, making it one of the most devastating pandemics in human history. The Spanish flu was not Spanish at all. The name is a misnomer, a result of wartime news blackouts that left Spain, a neutral country during World War I, as one of the few nations reporting on the epidemic. But where did this lethal flu actually originate? The question is as complex as it is intriguing. Various hypotheses have been proposed over the years. Some scientists suggest that the flu might have emerged in China, mutating in the bodies of Chinese laborers packed into freight cars and transported across Canada before being shipped to Europe. Others propose that it originated in the United States, in a rural county in Kansas, where the first known case was reported in March of 1918. According to this theory, the disease was carried to Europe by American soldiers who were deploying to fight in the World War I. Once there, the close quarters and massive troop movements of the war helped to spread the virus at an alarming rate. Yet another theory suggests that the virus might have sprung up in France in late 1916, evolving in army camps and hospitals before spreading to the rest of the world. Each theory has its merits and its detractors, and the truth may lie somewhere in between or perhaps somewhere entirely unexpected. The origin of the Spanish flu remains one of the most enduring mysteries in medical history. And so the Spanish flu, a mystery from the start, began its deadly sweep across the globe. In a world at war, how did a flu virus manage to outpace even the deadliest of human conflicts? Imagine the world in the grip of the Great War, soldiers moving across continents, nations in turmoil, and amidst all this, a silent, invisible enemy was spreading at an alarming rate. This was the Spanish flu, an influenza so potent it would change the course of history. The Spanish flu was a master of disguise, often mistaken for the common cold or pneumonia, it spread unchecked amongst the troops. The crowded and unsanitary conditions of the trenches served as a breeding ground for the virus. Soldiers, living in close quarters, were an easy target for this relentless enemy. But it wasn't just the soldiers who were at risk. The virus didn't discriminate. As the men moved, so did the flu, exploiting the arteries of war to extend its reach. It seeped into towns, cities, and villages, affecting civilians who had never set foot on a battlefield. The movements of World War I played a crucial role in the spread of the Spanish flu. Troop mobilizations, mass movements of refugees, and even the simple act of soldiers returning home, all contributed to the virus's global reach. In the United States, for instance, troops returning from Europe brought with them more than just stories of the front line. They unknowingly carried the Spanish flu, spreading it to their communities and families. The same story played out across the world. From the bustling streets of London to the remote villages of India, the Spanish flu found its way. It didn't respect borders or social status. Everyone was at risk. In an era before air travel, the speed at which the Spanish flu spread was truly unprecedented. It was a pandemic in the truest sense, a disease that was everywhere, affecting everyone. In just a few short months, the Spanish flu had infiltrated nearly every corner of the globe. This was not just a health crisis, it was a historical event that would shape the world for generations to come. But what made this influenza virus so deadly, you may wonder? Let's delve into the unique characteristics of the Spanish flu that made it such a lethal enemy. Unlike most strains of influenza, the Spanish flu had a peculiar trait. It didn't just affect the very young, the very old or the sick as one might expect. No, this cunning adversary had a different target. It set its sights on young, healthy adults, the very individuals who were thought to be at their physical peak. This unusual age distribution of victims was due to a phenomenon known as a cytokine storm, an overreaction of the body's immune system, which led to severe inflammation and often lethal complications. The symptoms were horrifying. Fever, fatigue, and aches were just the beginning. Many victims experienced severe complications like pneumonia and acute respiratory distress. Within hours or days, a healthy individual could be reduced to a lifeless body, the skin often turned blue from lack of oxygen. The mortality rate was alarmingly high with an estimated 50 million to 100 million lives lost worldwide. That's more than the total casualties of World War I. Cities were left barren, families were shattered, and society was plunged into mourning. But the devastation didn't stop at the human toll. The Spanish flu had a profound social and economic impact as well. 
With a significant portion of the workforce wiped out, industries struggled to keep up with production demands. Schools, businesses, and public services were temporarily shut down, causing widespread disruption. Economies around the world plummeted into recession, with recovery taking years, even decades in some regions. The Spanish flu was not just a health crisis, it was a crisis that reached into every corner of human existence, shaking the very foundations of societies worldwide. It was a stark reminder of our vulnerability and the importance of preparedness against such deadly outbreaks. The Spanish flu left a trail of death and devastation in its wake, forever changing the course of history. It's a chapter from our past that echoes into our present, a haunting reminder of the power of invisible enemies. Over a century later, why does the Spanish flu still haunt our collective memory? This haunting question invites us to look back at the Spanish flu's enigmatic origin, its alarming spread, and the catastrophic aftermath it left in its wake. Even today the Spanish flu stands as a chilling testament to the sheer destructive potential of infectious diseases. Its origin, shrouded in mystery, serves as a reminder of how easily a disease can emerge and wreak havoc on a global scale. The flu's rapid spread, facilitated by the interconnectedness of our world, underscores the importance of swift and decisive action in the face of a pandemic. But perhaps the most enduring lesson is the devastating impact of the Spanish flu. With millions of lives lost, it remains one of the deadliest pandemics in human history, a grim reminder of the human cost of unpreparedness. The Spanish flu, a historic tragedy, remains a stark reminder of the destructive potential of infectious diseases.